iScan remote eye tracking system. Melissa is going to be our subject and you can see Melissa is wearing eyeglasses and um, she's not otherwise marked in any way to facilitate eye tracking. She's just going to act completely normal. She's going to sit down in this chair we have here in front of the electro-optic eye tracking system. You can see when she sits down her eyes come into the field of view of the binocular eye tracker and I'm going to just try to make sure I can find my mouse. I'm going to give you a large um, screenshot of the eyes being tracked, of um, Melissa's eyes being tracked. And what I'm going to ask Melissa to do is to look at the screen that's being projected in front of her. And five calibration points are going to come up. She's going to look at each of these points and then her eyes will be calibrated to the, uh, to the stimulus screen. I guess the first thing I can do is turn off the room lights so that she can see the screen clearly. It should be a little bit better. Get my mouse here and I'm going to take my mouse and go into POR calibrate mode. And Melissa, could you please look at the spot that comes up, the cursor that comes up in the center of the screen? Thanks. Okay, I'm going to enter that point. Now the upper left point, please. Upper right. Lower left and lower right. Okay, and now I hit reset and I hit POR output. And I'm going to put this screen up. And I'm going to ask Melissa, could you look at the R, please? Could you look at the K? Could you look at like A, B, C, and D? C and D, great. How about back? And then how about go to the extremes and look at like yes and no? Okay, um, could you look at the Q? And while she's looking at the Q, I'm going to ask her, could you please um, fixate on the Q, please? I'm just going to turn on the room lights. Gonna... Yeah. She's fixating the Q. Turn on the room lights. And you can see that this is no effect on the eye tracking. It's hard for her to see the, the board. But um, could you look at the R? Could you look at yes and no? And how about back? Okay. And that, yep, I see you looking all around. Go back to the R. Thanks. I'm just going to turn the room lights off again. And um, this is important. The system will work under all ambient lighting conditions. Um, you can use any type of stimulus presentation imagery. Right now I'm just using something with very obvious targets so that you can see easily that she's able to look at the different targets. Um, you can put up live video. You can be looking at live objects. You can put up um, high resolution bitmaps or HD presentations, any kind of um, visual stimuli that you might want to use for um, research applications um, or con eye control applications. Because you can obviously see that given that um, we know where Melissa is looking on the screen, she can use this type of a, a system as an eye control for um, assistive communication um, or for control of different types of targeting applications. So could you look at the W again, please? And look at the R. Great. Well, that's the demonstration. And I um, don't want to make this too long.